I was just about to jump in. As I'm, <laughs> I had a feeling. To do. <laughs> I, I think Craig Crowey has actually an excellent point there in that while uh, having this data available, it's still early days. Um, for, for the people who are technically oriented enough to eventually you know, take advantage of it, um, it's actually, you know, it, 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 there's much to be said for starting sooner with collecting data rather than later. I mean, yes, there's still applications of the knowledge to be sorted out, but, you know, if you delay and delay and delay, you're basically giving a head start to your competition. Um, whereas, wouldn't it be great if you said, well, I'm going to be an early adopter, and fortunately, running power meters are not nearly as expensive as cycling power meters used to be back in the day. But you could sit there and say, I'm going to be an early adopter, and I'm going to start collecting data. And so in two years or three years or whatever down the road, uh, by 2020, uh, or the Olympics or something, where people say, yes, we've discovered that, you know, this is the, uh, I won't say optimal, but this is a very useful application for it, et cetera. You know, you have a, a database on yourself that you can go back and look at. Um, so. Perfect, I, thanks. I do, th I do think there is something to be said for, you know, getting in early uh, if you want to try and get an edge on your competition. And Jimmy, speaking of getting in early, you work with juniors and being able to basically analyze somebody's running from the very beginning when they're first getting into the sport, that seems to be a, a huge advantage because you've, you've got a baseline right from their, right when they're first getting into the sport. Yeah, and unfortunately though, we're still, we're still kind of at that point where it's hard to draw conclusions from it, you know, because like one, I can tell you the one great thing about working with kids, it's pretty hard for them not to improve <laughs> because <laughs> just being consistent, uh, they do well. So, you know, but I think, and, I, and this is this is what it all comes down to. And even in the book, I talk about collect the data first, and then see what your your individual specifics are. How what well, how does it apply to you? So it's hard for us right now in this new phase to really make a generalized statement of. Of uh, this is the number you want to be at, or this is that, and and so I think really this this allows you to individualize your training and and really see specifically for yourself, and that's at any age level, any ability level, elite to beginner. So uh, certainly it's 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 effectiveness will only continue to grow as that data collection grows. Yeah. 